third round. Loser's bracket. Split and trails versus Wow Rice. This is the path of my destiny. Let my beauty intoxicate you. Spilt round recently one. took out Craig Tech 9. Right. And Biofetlosaurus was taken out by Wild Rice. So this is a nice block string. Could have did a better combo though. Nice feet skill uses. Not gonna see much opportunity to use that since he does not fireball much. He's looking to jump and grab. Cool. Nice and hearing of the Barcelona is Wild Rice. Nice side switch. Surprise no DP there. Let me play with Wild Rice likes the DP. And that jumping has to calm down. When you see that V trigger activated, you gotta bait that out because he will hit you with that. A lot of people are not ready sometimes. Baker's answering is not the best. Wow, he gets him with a, a dash in V skill with punish. Nice light kick. Wild Rice seems to be dashing maybe a little too much. Especially if he's, he's trying to, he's trying maybe a little too hard to get in and gets caught again with that setup after the Barcelona attack. And he better not jump here. Oh, he got caught pressing the button though. Big risk from Split, but it worked out. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, he dropped the combo. Nice answering, stopping most of the Barcelona attacks from Spill. Wow, he just, what was that, triple dash? He's <laughs> right in his face. He saw he was nervous, slowly backing up. So he dashed right in his face with no regard and grabbed him to the ground. This time, Spacing wasn't there. Dashed again. Air to air from Split. Nice combo. Slide. Nope. Just more meter. Gets Barcelona. Grab. Dashed up. Command grab. Nice stutter step. Trying to fake out a DP. Nice combo. That should stun. And that should do it. Yes. Wow. I never saw a Wild Rice get schooled like this. The movement, he is not ready for the movement of Spilt as he's spilling the blood of Ryu. This should be an easier match for Wild Rice since Vega has bad anti airing. Round one. And Wild Rice likes to jump, but Spilt is a very strong opponent. Very good Vega. I think he could definitely make Super Bowl. I don't know how he's silver right now. Okay, now while Rice is getting into his zone, he just needs to stop maybe dashing so much. His jumpings are coming from too far away, and Vega could just snuff that out, like we just saw with a standing high kick. Good. If you jump from too far. Round two. Rare uses of the fireball from Wild Rice. No DP there. Yeah, he tried to do a standing, a jumping medium punch into Tatsu. Okay. But he did not great with the anti air, but Spilt is doing a great job anti airing. Hardy did his homework. Preparing for Wild Rice. Oh. Oh, that was a big mistake right there. Beautiful combo right there from Spill. My goodness gracious. And this is what sets him apart. The Red Bull Manta doll. Final round. The skill cannot be denied. Oh, wow. Beautiful anti-air right there. Oh, Matador roll. 
into CA. This man is a beast in right now, and I never saw. It. Wow, this man is dashing up to Wild Rice. Right? Usually he's good with these DPS and not DPS, but DPing at the right crazy times. But right now he's keeping Wild Rice off balance. Oh, not this time. Finally, a good DP right there. Yes, yes, he does. He likes to use that, and he gets the corner DP. I like that. Never seen him use that before. Wow. And Spilt had that match in his favor, but the starting off with the wild EXDP was wild rice, and it brought him into victory with the right decisions. Spilt had that round and was ready to be up 2 0, choked, and wild rice came back. Round one. Let's see if he could keep using those long normals to keeping Wild Rice at bay. Anzi Yang very greatly has he been doing. Taking a lot of chance with those EP. Yes, you know it's coming. Come on now. <laughs> you should know by now. He's been doing good baiting them out. Oh, and there's this, the ferocious nature of Wild Rice. He's getting into his element now. He's getting into his element. He's reading when Spilt wants to press a button and he's DPing through every block string that he has for him. And he, for some reason, keeps trying to throw those Barcelonas out there. And for the most part, he has not been successful. He's not checking the dashes of Wild Rice. He's waiting for him to jump. Oh, well, didn't Dan didn't answer yet though, but he still got him on the landing. Oh, got him with a good jumping. EX. DB. Oh, I, I think he could have defeated it. Okay, didn't want to take a chance. Wild Rice has full CA. He spends the ball. He is not shy. He will spend it. Wow, Wild Rice. He's turning up the heat. Putting the pressure on Spill. And just like that. In the favor of Wild Rice, 2-1. We're at the Thailand. Vega in his trench coat. Starts with a random fly. Nice counter hit combo from Phil. And just like that, the stun. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, right through it. You know, he loves to do it. Those combos better be tight because Wild Rice will DP through anything you got. He loves that standing medium. Okay, he thought he was going to press a button afterwards. It didn't work out. Now, Spilt changes the V trigger into V trigger 1. I would have stuck with V Trigger 2 because the jumping of Wild Rice, but let's see. He sees something that we don't. Okay, and the wildness is coming to haunt back. And he stays falling for that setup after the Barcelona all the time. Why does he keep falling for that setup? Neutral jump or block? Oh, he should have did caution medium kick. Jump again. Last off. Here we go. V trigger. Set it up. Gotta set up the big game. And he's jumping again. He's jumping from too far away. And that's where Vega is best at anteering. Vega wins. I like to see more come um air grab from Spilt, but the anteering is working because Wild Rice is jumping from too long range. Maybe you should stick to the dashing. Said it was a little funny with the internet lag. Why are they playing on a crazy stage like this in the first place? Even the last stage. This is the path but, um, of my destiny. You can't blame losing by jumping all the time Let my and missing with your EXDPs at the same time. Oh, You're killing yourself by doing that. Okay, there's a better jump then. Pressure. 
DP. Okay, he goes for the crush immediately. I'm high punches dead. Crouch, yes. Should DP. I'm five one through it. Okay, and very good use after after the um V trigger is built. Prime position is wild rice. If he doesn't get too aggressive, wow! And this is what's happening here. Wow, there's another stun. He gets caught crouching. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, he dropped it. Got to activate. Wow, he just walked up and grabbed him with no problem. The DP came back to haunt him again. And you can't blame that. Miss wow, he just missed that anti for the first time. And that's DP again. He's still relentless toward it. Try to air to air, but guess wrong. Again, jumping for too long. He gets caught. He loves to do a standing medium to check his opponents and go for a low combo. He was very so good at that. Okay, this could be big. Not gonna kill though. Gonna take setup again. That's like the fourth time he got hit with that. He keeps getting hit with that combo. With the side switch, you think he would bust out the DP like he likes to do. But just like that, Wow, Rice goes down. Cooking. With the side switch. Again, the same combo. He didn't learn his lesson. The same setup. He had no answer. He could have did a lot of things. He could have view shifted to get himself out of that guessing situation. Guess wrong. Press the button again. Call on the opposite side and spill. The assassin. Murders Wild Rice and advances. Thank you, Wild Rice. But your aggressiveness killed yourself and spilt. Moves on to face Ray Dog. That should be a fun one. <laughs>